Hello everyone, today actually marks a month of my father's passing and um, yeah, so it has been a month already. I know I just um, uploaded a video last week, but like what I said in my um, introduction, it was really hard for me to talk about it when it just happened. So it took me a while to upload a video. And um, actually, I would like to uh, share with you um, after the incident, after my father passed away, of course, the whole family was very saddened about it. And especially my sister as well, Karen, and she's with me um, right now in the Netherlands. And um, I think if I was uh, broken hearted and devastated, about what happened, I could not imagine how uh, she felt because they they were very close and uh, like what I mentioned as well in my previous video, um, they were very, very close and I can really see the kind of relationship that they have for each other and how much they love each other and how much they share everything um, uh, together so that's that's really painful um very very painful for her as well so actually me and my girlfriends we decided to uh, a week after that we decided to uh, have a short trip to cologne germany um, to also give my sister some you know um uh, yeah to, to for her to to not be so sad so she can get out, so she can see new things, new places, experience new things as well. So we decided to go to Cologne for, for the weekend. And um, after that, I also arranged that um, because it was also her birthday, uh, when she arrived, actually last May when she arrived, it was her birthday. and. Uh, I told her that my gift to her would be a trip to Paris and we made it happen um, two weeks ago. So we also went to, to Paris for, for, uh, for a few days, just me and her, so we can have some sisters uh, trip and, uh, you know, have a yeah, hard, uh, have a, a trip together and also just really to uh, put your mind away from uh, everything. So um, this video is actually showing you later on um, how the trip was um, in Cologne and in, uh, in Paris with my sister and um, also, we had a very uh, short holiday with my whole family um, in the Netherlands. It, it was just in the Netherlands, in Nordwijk, and it was also um, one week um, by the beach. And um, we are very happy and we are very um, grateful because actually the, the holidays um, that we or the, the our stay in uh, in Nordwijk was um, sponsored by Tom's uh, employer info support and um, actually I would just really give some credit to them because actually um, when they found out about my condition, in January and that's when the time that Tom started working for them he was just hired and uh, they found out uh, or together we found out that I have cancer and actually um, they, they reacted in a very uh, a very kind and very humane way I, uh, we we we, did, we were not expecting it to be uh, that they would be so understanding. So when they found out, um, Tom just started working for a week, and they said um, 
Tom, we know you're still in probation, but we don't want you to worry about that. We just want you to uh, be with your girlfriend and um, uh, spend time with her. So I know that it's very hard. It was the manager that was talking to him. Uh, it was, it's very hard for you guys, for you to focus on, on your work at the moment. And, and uh, you just want to be with your family because you don't know how you can... Uh, as a family, take this this news, this very uh, sudden news. So, um, so they were very lenient um, to Tom in in his first month, and um, and and from then on, I I I I I always have gifts from them. I have like countless of um, uh, flowers from them, food bouquets. Uh, lunch cards, dinner cards, everything. Like, it's so, um, I, so I, it's just something that I said to Tom, I've never seen a company that are very warm and very understanding, like, like Info Support. They have been there all these times and um, every time when there is something, uh, when, to, when I just came from the from the hospital and there's good news, they will send me a flower. If there is something, they will also send me a flower or a, a, a fruit or chocolates or just any gifts to know that they are thinking of me, that they uh, are with us all the all these times, you know, all uh, in this difficult time. So it's very, it's, it's a remarkable gesture from, from them and, Again, um, they uh, they gave us um, uh, a gift again last week in Hausterdon in um, in Nordfeld. They gave us a penthouse units uh, pent penthouse units for five nights, so we can stay there for five nights and um, with the whole family. And it, and of course, it was. Um, it was just something unexpected, and it was it's also something that I yeah uh, I've never heard any employer that would splurge and would do some uh, grand gesture like like this uh, to their employees, and to think that I am not even the one working for them. It's Tom. So um, and yeah, but they never fail to amaze me with all the. The things that they're doing for me and for that I am really really um, extremely grateful for them and uh, really yeah beyond words you know um, so I would like to uh, to really um, give credit to them uh, for everything and of course also for for our friends you know for my girlfriends uh, to Tita Munet um, uh, Cha Cha, Jamila, uh, you know, uh, everyone uh, that has been there for me uh, all these times and also for my sister um, during the time of my father's passing. They really tried to, um, uh, you know, um, comfort her. They really tried their best to... Um, uh, yeah, comfort her and bring her to places and um, put her mind somewhere else. Um, to Ati Marivik, to Teresa, um, everyone is just really trying to do their best to help us out in any way they can. And for that, I am, um, uh, yeah, extremely happy with the people around me and for the love and care that everyone has been showing us so thank you guys thank you thank you and for all the prayers as well thanks a lot um i will show you guys uh, uh some photos and some videos of the trips i did with my sister and with my friends and with my family in the past three weeks and uh i hope you guys will um like it because you will see a little bit of of germany cologne 
uh, and a little bit of Paris and a little bit of um, how the beach looks like in the Netherlands. Uh, it's very, very cold, so I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't dare to swim. But um, just uh, for those that uh, haven't been to the Netherlands, for example, it would be a nice uh, for you to see this view as well. And, you know, uh, how, how everything looks like here. So I hope you guys will like it. And I will, uh, um, I will be seeing you guys uh, very soon because actually tomorrow is Karen's um, uh, departure to the Philippines. She's going back to the Philippines and I will also make a short video about it. So uh, enjoy guys and um, I hope you guys are having a, a good day. Bye bye. Thank you.